So I've done uh, two bits here. You can see this area here has been done with a poly disc. And this area here, I did it with the first pass with the wire brush. And really what it's done is it's taken the most of the paint off. And this, doing it with a poly brush is really quick then. Um, it comes up nice and silver, and I'm going to paint that with red oxide and then uh, with a hammerite. Just to give you some idea what I'm actually talking about, um, these are the two two discs. So this is the poly disc, and you can see it's like a almost like a scar. Um, and this is a really nasty looking um, wire brush. I'd recommend getting the smallest diameter you can. I've got a hundred mil. This is a 75. I've got a hundred mil, and I can't use it because it vibrates too much. So there's a 75. Um, and I would highly recommend that one. So, don't forget the dust mask though. That's the front grill of the Land Rover, and I'm just going to lie it down, and we're going to be looking at that bottom rail, basically. This is the inside, and you can see there's loads of rust that's expanded into all of these little joints here. So I think the, the fix is um, basically to cut it off at that join, uh, I'll be able to get this, this piece off separately. You can see there's an additional piece here. And then basically weld a section on from that end all the way through to that end. And then just drill the holes as required. Uh, trying to repair this, I think that's, that's beyond repair. Does that come up quite well? yeah. Okay, so this is it cut off. And with all, you can see I've got some patching to do. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some metal morphosis just to convert some of the rust before I put the um, red oxide on. Uh, these places that are just kind of a little awkward to reach, just in these places here. And then once that's done, I'll give it a wipe down. Because this is obviously in the engine bay, I'll give it a wipe down with white spirit first. And then uh, give it a coat of red oxide. This is the uh, Land Rover grill, and underneath it, you can see that's all new. So there's basically this new piece of steel that's going to need to be drilled. But basically, I've replaced that whole section underneath it. Um, I've got a couple of holes here. You can see those quite clearly. I'm going to just cut those, cut that out, and then use some scrap metal. So I've got here two more scrap metal, and just make another piece. Right, you can see where that's been cut, and the uh, new bit is actually being held in place by that magnet. So it's not a perfect match, but uh, I'll be able to fill that with some welding. My welding's not brilliant, but uh, I'm sure this will look alright by the end of it. It's got really cold now. Um, there's a bit of snow there, you can see. and. Uh, not perfect, but uh, certainly an improvement. And uh, the coat of paint, I'm hoping you won't even notice that it's been fixed.